Hello everyone, welcome to Pega, Pega Technology YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to tell you one of the declarative rule, declare on change. If you want to perform anything based on property, uh, we use declare on change rule. And uh, whenever we are trying to change the property value, automatically it will run an activity in declare on change. And uh, declare on change rules run an activity anytime that the value of a specified property changes and it, it implements forward chaining and here no other rules explicitly reference declare on change rule after you save a declare on change rule it is run immediately as and as needed because it is a declarative rule we no need to call this rule for example if you take an e-commerce application when you, when a product has been purchased in an e-commerce application we want to see the status of status of that product by getting that as an email or by a phone number and for this scenario we need to create declare on change rule and declare on change will track the property value changes what are the properties you want to watch if there is any change in those values you can do certain operations the certain operations can be performed by using an activity or you can suspend that particular work object. For that I am going to add one, one stage in a declarative rules. I am going to add a declare on change. And add first step. Collect on change details. And I am going to add one property score. You can give any property. I am going to give property here score. And property type is integer. Click on submit and, and submit the view. And save the case type. And now I am going to create declare on change rule. For that, go to create menu. And uh, this on change rule belongs to decision rule category. Go to declare on change. Select declare on change. We can give any name for label. Now I am going to give test on change as label. And my apply to class is declare to rules this is declare to rules after you provide label and apply to class click on create and open to create uh, on change rule for on change rule we have three three sections and first section is properties to watch what properties to be watch you can give here and and the next one is conditions uh, when do you want to call this to do certain operations based on condition we can use this that would be a when rule and uh, here we, we have in choose action we have call activity or suspend work object by click on call activity you can able to see when crew run for that we need to create one activity when condition false we need to create another activity if we select the suspend work object, we need to suspend the action. We need to provide for that, provide flow for that to run. For example, if you take example for suspend work object, whenever there is a fraud happening in our application or case, at that time you want to suspend all work items. The in that situations we can use suspend work object. Here I am going to pro provide property as score because on that property whenever I want to change that score property value I need to execute this on change rule and, and here I am going to create a when rule score check I am going to give when rule as a score check based on that condition I need to call activity click on create and open and in the when rule, we need to select 
score if a score is less than 100 call this call the when rule here if the when rule if the uh, if the score is less than 100 i need to execute when true run, run activity when uh, score is greater than 100 i need to execute when false run activity now i am going to create when true run activity when true run activity here i am going to create activity and activity label as it true on change open cross ray icon to create activity click on create and open to create activity in this activity i am going to write one log message In log message, I am going to write Hi You can give any message here I am inside To on change And I am going to give logging level as info forced And click on save and call this activity here in the on change rule to on change. Same way, I am going to create activity for when false also. I am going to save as this rule. True false on change, I am going to give label as false on change. And here uh, in the log message, I am going to give hi, I am inside the false on change now click on save and call this activity in the on change rule and uh, the one condition here is we cannot able to access here because true on change in the go to security the activity the type should be on change then only we can access and if you we can access to on change same that we can we can access only true on change because activity type is here on change but false on change we can't able to access because the activity type does not change to on change so that's why now i'm going to change false on change activity to on change now only i can access so go to new tab and now call that false activity false on change this is the main thing for activity we need to change the activity type for declare on change then uh, then save this rule save the on change rule in the case step i am going to add another step i am going to give that step as a review in this also again same property score i am going to give same property score click on submit and save the case type now create a case create and enter in here we give uh, 100 if uh, less than 100 the true on change activity get executed if uh, score is greater than 100 the false on change activity get executed now i'm going to give less than 150 submit and go to log files and observe the output configure system operations logs Our logs are present in log files. 
and uh, go to pega here you can able to see hi i am inside the true on change yes it is get executed because we gave value as less than 100 i am going to submit again okay okay sorry it is executed two times for this this hi i'm inside true on change is for the uh, value present in collect on change for the cali for the review it is executed again this time i am going to give again less than 100 and observe the tray Yeah, it is executed a high am inside the true on change now i'm going to give uh, greater than 100 value click on submit and now false on false activity need to get execute yes hi i am inside the false on change activity get executed based on the condition if you change the property value it executes activity or you can uh, suspend the work also in on change rule here we we have seen choose an option as call activity now we are going to see suspend work object for that i am going to add one process in alternate stage i am going to give this Stage name as a suspended flow. And I'm going to give step name as flow suspended. And after flow suspended, I need to send an email to the user. So that's why I'm going to give email. Send email. I'm going to give this email name as Send a suspension email. Click on save. Now go to the test on change. Declare on change rule. And uh, here we need to select the flow. I am going to select the suspend flow. If you want to show error message, you can show error message. I am going to create error message. Click on create and open and give here error message your flow is suspended. And click on save. Call this error message here and save. Based on this condition only, it is get executed. Now I am going to create case and observe the output. Click on create. Yes, because initially it is taking value as null value. So it is executed initially only. Now I am going to... Uh, okay, score as uh, now I'm going to give score as greater than 100. Go to declare two rules data model data transform. So I'm going to set score value as dot 100. Click on save. Create case again. Yes. If it is less than hundred, the flow will the flow will suspended. Yes, the flow will suspended. Go to flow suspended. Advance this case. Yes. 
here in the test on change in score check we written condition as the score is less than 100 if a score is less than 100 the work object will suspended and uh, it executes suspended flow if uh, score check is greater than 100 it will not suspend the work object if you have any doubts regarding declare on change rule uh, ask questions in comment section i will give answer in the next coming session videos i will explain remaining declarative rules thank you